and Facebook. All the places. All the places are live now. Getting live. All right. What's going on, everybody? So we're going to do that intro again, not the whole intro video. I love that video, but uh, looks like we're live on YouTube. We're live on Behance. We're live on Facebook. It's getting ready to go live on Twitch and in a couple Facebook groups. Looks like we're good there on Twitch. All right, cool. What is up, everybody? So that was kind of a rough start. Um, so on Behance is usually where I'm checking my, my chat and staying up to date on what's going on. But the, the, the chat is down tonight. So we're also broadcasting on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitch. Search for Derek Mitchell. It's youtube.com slash Derek Mitchell. All right. So uh, I'll be able to see you guys. There's some comments. What's up, Robert? Hey, I knew we had some people jumping in. Hey, good to see you. Thanks for jumping in. Cool. All right. <clears throat> so let's get to it. We are kind of playing around on the iPad tonight because it seemed like the fun thing to do. Oh, no. Oh, I just dodged a bullet. I went to move my keyboard and I just smacked my screen with the edge of it. But I didn't scratch it. That'd be depressing. All right, let's get to it. Let's make some stuff. I don't know what we're going to make yet. So let me just kind of make sure that I'm on the right layer. Open up my layers. I've got my masks layer. I'm going to make sure that's locked so I don't accidentally move stuff around there. Jump onto the artwork layer. All right, let's make some more skis. Let's do some things. I don't really know what I want to make yet. Let's have some fun. Some of this is inspired by... Let's do some research. So when I close the document here, it uh, saves it automatically in the cloud. And uh, just got to make sure my windows don't have my stream keys open when I open up this new browser window. There we go. Robert says, got to chat with the master. I'm playing around with an invitation layout tonight. Awesome. Uh, assuming you like to work in InDesign, um, which is fantastic. Are you in InDesign doing some cool stuff? All right. Uh, also, shameless plug, check out DerekMitchell.com. I've got some free tutorials up here. If you want to check those out. A uh, lot, of, lot of fun stuff. How to do some uh, graphic t-shirt designs with Adobe Illustrator. Oh, thank you. My wife just brought me a beverage of some kind. That's good. And it's delicious. All right. Uh, some other tutorials in here as well. Check those out when you get a minute. The store link is broken and it has been for months. I need to fix it. Haven't fixed it yet. So we're just going to forget about that. We've got some courses in here too. We're going to learn without all of the extra rambling from the live streams. Check those out. Some cool stuff. Okay. Uh, I was opening this up. Oh yeah. We were looking at, I think it was skis.com is when I opened up last time. Labor day sale up to 50% off. Take my money. Uh Oh, I closed the window. I got too excited. All right, so here's the inspiration for what we're doing. Uh, just looking at like any kind of ski and how they, I don't know. I think skis have really cool designs. Those are really cool. Check that out. Oh, I need new ski boots too. Wow, good deal. All right, um, that's kind of cool. I'm digging it. We could make something like that. Make some, some women's ski design what's up Marche? haven't seen you in a while i hope things are good thanks for tuning in oh that reminds me so you sent me some image to look at i think it was a family member photo thing that you edited and i apologize i had every intention of looking at it then i went to chicago for a business trip and then i got covid while i was traveling to chicago and so that's why you guys haven't seen me in the last week and a half two weeks really because i've been just uh no good. I've been under the weather. So luckily it wasn't that bad. Um, it was, 
I hurt from head to toe. Um, couldn't taste or smell anything. A little bit of headache, but the worst of it was brain fog and anxiety. Like I just felt like words were hard and um, anxious about my work and getting work done. So uh, I am good now. The family is good. We all had it. We all got COVID. We all quarantined, and now we're back into the wild. All right. Let's see. So Marche, yeah. Sorry, I have not looked at that image. I just remembered that now that I see you in the chat. All right. Um, so just some ideas, just some things we could do. You know what? We should make a ski logo. There's a lot of fun things we could do here. Um, I also like looking at Behance for some ideas. Let's look up some like, I don't know, snowboard design. I love this kind of look, this kind of stuff some cool stuff here. So whenever I find things that are inspiring to me, I'll hold down the command key on my keyboard and then just click on things. And as I click on it with the command key held down or control, if you're on a PC, it just opens up these new tabs. So I don't have to try and remember what I liked. I just hold down command, click on it, and it just throws it open in new tabs up here. So um, don't want to linger too long, but kind of want to get some fresh inspiration on what we could do. Lots of great ideas. I love the snowboard and ski world. I love the outdoor sports world lots of inspiring things to work from so many inspiring things okay but that's probably enough for now <clears throat> robert says yep in design photoshop building a 25th wedding anniversary invite for a lovely couple that's awesome i wonder if we have uh, she's not close i was wondering if i had my wedding invitation that i designed when i was in college from like 15 years ago i'll have to show it on the stream sometime all right, so these are some cool ideas. Let's see, how do I want to get this? Let's go like this. Command Shift 4 to get a screenshot going and then hold down the space bar to just align it up where I want. It's all said and done. Then before I let go, I'll hold down Control. Keeping Control, held down, then I'll go with the mouse. And I'll get a screenshot and just paste it in here. Which, oh no, Illustrator just crashed. Well, that's stupid, okay. That's what happens when you go too fast. How's everybody doing? What's new? Robert's working on an InDesign file for a 25th wedding anniversary invite. Marche is hanging out in the chat tonight. Some good stuff. Man, Illustrator just like tanked hard. All right, let's try this again. So I think that image I just took a picture of is still my clipboard. Um, let's go to my layers. Let's add a new layer. We'll just call this um, ideas or something. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I don't usually use layers very much in Illustrator. Typically, I keep it everything on one layer. and uh, But for whatever reason, we're working with layers tonight. So there's an idea. Close it. Eh. Vector pack. Those are those are different. I guess I'll take a picture of it, but it's not quite what I'm looking for. All right, so now what we need is, oh, that's cool. Holy smokes. Wow, that's super cool. All right. Um... I like the layout of this, it's cool. Command Shift 4, I'm just gonna take a picture of the whole thing, just kind of as a visual reminder. Throw it in here. A little bit. Uh, 
All right. Yeah, Robert says, like the color usage with dark gray and yellow. I do too. Um, it's a definitely a, a creative color palette. I feel like lately I've been doing so much red, black, and white. Um, and I've been showing lots of ideas, but it just for whatever reason, lately everything's been going back to red, black, and white. So maybe we can break away from that tonight. Uh, all right. I could spend so much time just looking at all this artwork. I love looking at art. Getting ideas. Sometimes it's me stalling. I don't know. I feel like I need to take anywhere from like 15 to 20 minutes. I'm not going to take that much time tonight. But to just kind of get a good, nice round. Rounded, well-rounded. Um artboard to look at. Oh, that's cool. I dig it. So I think I don't have a layout right now where you guys can see what my hands are doing exactly. I've got an overhead camera. Um, so basically what I'm doing is and you can't see what I'm doing on the screen. That's right. So, um, so command shift and the number four then I get the crosshairs, which I know you can't see right now. And I click and drag over the image I want, holding the mouse down. Then I hit the space bar to move my box around. Oh, I can't hit the switcher from here to show you. It's all right. So I move the box where I want the photo to be. Then I let go, but I haven't let go of the mouse hand yet. Then I hold down control. Then I let go of the mouse, still holding down control over here on my left hand. What that does is instead of saving it to my desktop, it saves it to the clipboard. So that way I can paste it into my document. So that picture I just took a picture of, I'll do it again, Command Shift 4, click and drag, moving it around, got it to here, hold down Control, then let go. And now I can throw this over here without it saving it to my desktop. It just saves it right there to the clipboard to work fast. You <laughs> do not spill that on my equipment. Uh, I've spilled so many things on things like this in the past. Uh, one of which was a protein shake. I had a, a huge protein shake bottle and I was next to my wife's laptop and I went to shake it and the lid came off and I just plastered. I to to Sorry, Siri. My Siri's trying to jump into the stream here. Siri says she doesn't know how to respond to that. Anyway, yeah, I coated the top of my wife's laptop and we had to get it repaired and it was sad. All right, um, it's so funny. All right, I, I've got some good looks. I'm definitely stalling right now, but I, I feel like there's just a few more things. I don't know. I, I don't like having just like one or two looks on my, um, I, I think this is part of the COVID thing we're talking about. My, my brain has the words, but then I go to talk and it's like, I can't think of the right word. And that's been ever since COVID especially. Um, the art board, the mood board, the uh, just some ideas. I feel like I, if I had, let's just say I had one look, I just had one reference. I tend to design, I would design something that looked just like this versus like say, you know, maybe grabbing this color scheme, but then applying it to maybe something like this, you know, just some different ways we can apply some of this artwork. So I'm just gonna push this a little bit further. We're, so, we're I'm almost done. I don't know, I just love, there's just so many creative people doing, awesome things. I love seeing what's out there and what's possible. So I like borrowing inspiration, but not copying stuff, obviously. Like I don't wanna just flat out copy what somebody else did. All right. Rob, if I uh, 
spill this, I'm blaming you for saying something. <clears throat> okay, that's that's probably enough to start doing stuff. So I could start working here on the desktop. I'm going to go ahead and close it though. So that way it forces it to save to the cloud. I already just saved it to the cloud, but I want to make sure I see this little green check box or check mark to know it is indeed saved. So now I can jump into the iPad. <laughs> Rob says it's just something that he would do, but I have way better equipment than him. Um, no, it's something that I would do and have done, so it's definitely worth saying, but now I gotta be extra careful. Also, check these out. You guys have already seen these. But I got my third bowl coasters back from the designs that we did a while back. A couple different versions. Oh, I've only got the one version out. No, these are two different versions. I've got this version where the text kinda goes off the edges more creatively, which is my favorite. And then I have this one that's a little more literal, so the client could actually see all of the words Anyway, coaster. Love it. With this view, I feel like we could be like playing cards or something. I don't know. All right. <clears throat> Thanks, Marche. She says they look so great. Actually, technically she said the look so great, but I'm pretty sure she meant they. <laughs> um, all right, let's do this. Let's open this up. Open this document here. Same road podcast. I love this thing. This board is so good. This board has been a lot of fun. I used to just use a little interface. Um, then I was fortunate to be able to get the board. Okay. So we got the samples here. We are super close. Let's, let's play around with... Oh, these colors don't match. Do we care? Do we want to jump into Photoshop and fix this? I don't think we care yet. I'm just gonna leave it alone. All right, let's 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 define some color ideas here. Let me get my rectangle tool. I click and drag. If I hit this little, it's tough to see. Maybe you can see it in the overhead camera, but there's like this little circle. I'm gonna drag it up here. I forget what they call it, the modifier. Um, anyway, bottom left. It's like holding down the shift key. So if I wanna force this to be perfect square. And then now I've got the hiccups, I'm sorry. All right, so what we're gonna do, hold this, drag, nope. Uh, sorry guys, it's gonna take me just a second to remember how to do this. Nope. Nope. Uh, I really thought it was, nope, nope. Okay, well, what I'm trying to do is duplicate this over. There's this little plus sign. Uh, I don't even think you can hardly see it. I wish. <sighs> okay, let's take a giant step back. Do you guys like it when I explain every little thing like this? Is this helpful or would you rather just watch me work and I can shut up and just keep going? Um, I'm used to teaching tutorials where I'm like very specific about how I do something. Maybe I should just stop talking and we can we can just actually get something done during the stream instead of me just yammering on here. I feel like it always takes me just a couple seconds to get warmed up on the iPad. I don't know what my deal is. There, it worked that time. Why was it? Oh, that's why. Okay. Um, Shay says, I like it, but I don't know where everybody else's level is at. That's all right. You're the only one that commented. So you're the one that says you like it. I'll keep doing it. Um, so I had the rectangle tool still selected and I was trying to hold down the modifier thing in the bottom left corner. And what I was trying to do is duplicate this shape. Uh, but what it wanted to do is just keep drawing more shapes. Okay. So I had to switch back to the selection tool up here. Then then I can click out on this and it'll drag a duplicate out. Okay, if I just click and drag, 
it's going to snap it at 45 and 90 degree uh, lines. So if I click and then scrub my finger out a little bit, you can see the circle on the bottom left goes from the, the inner circle to the full size thing. And that is going to let me quickly clone the rectangle out. Yeah, I know. So that's the hard thing. Robert says, I like the explanations, but I don't have an iPad. So a lot of people don't have an iPad. And that's why I struggle wanting to stream with an iPad, because I know it's not everybody's, you know, if you have Illustrator, whether it's PC or Mac or even on an iPad, you can follow along. If you're just trying to follow along on an iPad, it's a little more difficult to do. So that being said, it's a lot of fun and you should get an iPad, Rob. Do you prefer Robert? Rob? Um, all right, so now what we want to do, I'm trying to sample some colors and there's some shortcuts that I don't remember. So let's tap on the circle for the color swatch. Yeah, Fresco on an iPad is amazing. Totally worth it if you have the Adobe subscription. If you don't have the Adobe subscription, it it's difficult to want to spend extra money just for that app when there's another app that I hesitate to say on stream because this is an Adobe sponsored event here, but Procreate has been a lot of fun. Rob says Rob. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, Fresco's, um, Fresco's way better when it comes to the the um, the brushes and how they interact with the watercolors and stuff. And um, But Procreate is a little more powerful currently, but I know Adobe is making, they're catching up quick. So we'll see what happens. All right, so select the next one, tap on the color swatch, get my eyedropper tool, and let's sample a few more colors here. There's probably a better way to do this, I'm assuming. We're gonna keep going this way. Yeah, uh, they know the chat's broken, Rob. It's kind of hit or miss. So we're actually right in the middle of transitioning to a different service provider. So what's cool about that is not only is the chat about to be fixed and more better, but the delay and the latency is about to go away to where it's only like a five second max delay. Right now it can be anywhere from like 30 seconds to a minute behind live. Um, not always, but it, it kind of has been, that's been the trend. So with this new streaming service, which I don't think I'm on quite yet, or I will be very soon if I'm not already, um, both the chat gets fixed and then also the latency goes away. So when we're, when I see your comments, it's almost immediate. All right. Um, almost done here. Taking the slow train. I, I've noticed I'm slower on an iPad, mostly because my hands are used to the physical keys of the keyboard. So for me, Illustrator on an iPad feels therapeutic. It feels like it's forcing my brain to try and do things differently than what it's used to doing for the last like 20 years. So I find different solutions because I'm forced to because it just works a little bit differently. And so I really like it for that. I like it, it just feels um, I don't know. It's fun. It's just fun. It doesn't have to be anything. I just really enjoy it. And, um, but if it's like production work and I've got to get something done fast or if I'm traveling like on an airplane, uh, then the iPad, wait, I'm about to confuse that. If it's production and it has to be done fast, hundred percent desktop, I use the desktop. Um, but like when I went to Chicago a couple weeks ago, and then when I went to Florida in January, I used the iPad while I was flying and it was amazing. I loved it. All right. So here's the colors from these snowboards. I'm going to go ahead and highlight all of them. I don't remember. I think my alignment tools are down here. Let's distribute these. Let's even them out. And then, oh, there was a white box in there too. I guess we could leave that in there. And then I'm going to click on this little thing to group it. So I can just kind of scale. Oh, that's another fun thing you could do too. Just because a lot of times I make my color swatches square. But you could, you know, make them whatever shape that you want. It doesn't really matter. So that's kind of cool looking because then it takes up less uh, real estate horizontally, but then it's still tall enough to get a good representation of the colors. That's kind of cool. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want to do. 
All right. So we use those colors on those skis. I'm going to copy this whole thing. Maybe. It's been difficult. There we go. So now what I could do is the next set of colors that are inspiring. Oh, I just closed it. Open it back up. Okay. Uh, let's sample the colors from here. I'm gonna just do this so it's easier to see. Then I'll drag it back into place. Ungroup these. Grab this solo. So we'll just delete these two. Boom. Highlight them all. Group them all. This kind of stuff maybe is tedious and boring. I don't know. I really enjoy it, though. After a long day of mental work, it's nice to just kind of play around on the iPad a little bit. All right, that's a good start for now. We might branch out, but here's here's some colors. Here's some things we could do. Okay, so, man, we could do something geometric like this here, some shapes and patterns. It's kind of cool. We could mix in just some random graphics. We could add some textures. We could do some illustrative stuff. Ooh, like a pencil. Oh, I like that a lot, actually. I like that idea. I don't know what I would draw, though. Looks like mountains. We could do something like that. Ah, so many cool things we could do. That's the other thing I do when I when I'm warming up for a design, I tend to just like move things around a bunch. And uh I don't know. <laughs> Wait for inspiration to strike.
it's interesting when you see a design, for example, these Roxy skis, you just look at it and you go, oh, that's cool. Like, yeah, I don't know. I'd, it's pink. It's purple. It's lots of white. It says Roxy on it. Nothing too crazy, right? Um, but then when you like really break down the, the design, you're like, what is this? What is actually? Like, let's look at this. We got some type on the left ski, some pretty large sized type. I'm assuming this Kea or whatever this is, is that either the the um, the ski name itself or maybe the athlete who skis these are modeled for. Uh, looking at like the left ski versus the right ski where the artwork starts and stops. This You know, they don't line up evenly across the top. Like this one kind of cuts short compared to the one on the right. The one on the left has some shapes, a little bit more organic look to it in the background, a little more fluid. And the right one has just some hard lines, just some stripes, right? So it's interesting when you start really breaking down a design and what makes the design. These Razzies here, we have some, some chop text at a kind of a 45 degree angle, kind of cut in half with some lines at a nice, looks like almost 45, not quite. I dig it some cool stuff so yeah it's interesting when you start breaking apart a design and just see like how would i re if i was going to recreate this exact thing how would i make this like what is the design anyway stuff i think about all right all right um i don't even know what i want to do so let's start by getting on the right layer for one so come into my layers and uh, we have all these ideas i'm going to lock them down because that's the same layer that all these color samples are on as well. And I want to just be drawing on the artwork layer. So I'll unlock that, tap on it. So now anything that I do is going to be behind this mask. Like you see, this is selected here. All that artwork and all the scribbles are behind the mask. All right. So I don't know. Let's just... Let's just get into it. Let's just see what happens. Also, when I do the iPad stuff, I usually wear a hat because then my big shiny bald head on this camera when my head's looking down. Which you wouldn't have noticed till I said something, but now you're staring at it. Don't stare at my bald head. All right. So I love playing with you know, getting things to bleed across the skis on both sides. So right now I'm just literally playing with rectangles, like nothing crazy. Very, very, very basic stuff here. And hoping I get lucky and it turns out cool. So literally just have the rectangle tool. Are those wedding invites coming, Rob? Just tuning in, Rob, in the chat over on YouTube because the Behance chat is uh, on vacation tonight. 
Rob is working on some print design for a wedding invite. Having some fun with that. What just happened to my shapes? I'm not digging this yet, but I'm hoping that if I draw enough squares on this thing, eventually I'm going to get lucky and something cool is about to happen. Maybe not though. Hard to say. Currently it kind of sucks, but we're going to keep going. What's up, Shy Bound? Just popping in and out. Hello. Hey, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you for stopping by and saying hi in the chat. Um, yeah. Thank you. Have a good night. Hi and goodbye. <laughs> you better get those things done, Rob. Rob says, uh, not bad, but I'm distracting him. Better get those things done. How far along are you on those? Like, did you get the file set up and you're just like screwing around with typography right now? Like, where are you at in the process? I'll bug you for just a little bit more and they'll kick you out of here so I don't get in trouble. Okay, that's starting to be something. We're going to just obviously keep pressing on here. I didn't mean to make that one a 45, but I might leave it like just this lone. Everything else is vertical. Oops. Everything else is vertical or horizontal. But this guy also, if you change the background, look how quickly it changes the design. Ugh. All right. Um, but this one lone little Looks like a ticker tape at a concert, you know, when the, when the little papers go down at the end. Anyways, Farrah, LOL, off to sleep. Thanks, Shy Bound. Appreciate you for jumping in, saying hi. Messing with type. Did the photo black and white with red features. Interesting. Are there, is it, oh, it's an anniversary, not a wedding. Black and white and red. Very romantic, very strong and bold color schemes. Fun stuff. I'd say don't let me distract you, but I like the uh, I like the company. So you do you. Stick around if you want. Don't get me in trouble though for distracting you. Oh, they were your wedding colors. Is this your anniversary thing you're working on? Happy anniversary, if that's the case. Yeah, you better get these done. <laughs> so it's a it's an invite, or it's like the little what do you call it when you get the handout at the at the reception or whatever, where it's like here's all the details. What do they call those things? I want to say a brochure. That's obviously not right. Flyer? No. Words are hard, guys. Do I have to do this like for every single... There we go. All right. I'm not loving this design. In fact, I kind of hate it. The more I try to make it better, it just is getting worse. Also, what the heck happened over here? How did these turn totally... The wrong color. Um, let's just make that black. Oh my goodness, I screwed everything up. What the heck happened? Oh geez. I completely 
I don't know how, but I messed it all up. That's depressing. I mean, it wasn't like they were that good to begin with, but oh well. I'm not making a very strong case for using Illustrator on an iPad. Uh, awesome, very cool. We did, um, I wish I had, hey Jen. Oh. oh, okay, just kidding, my wife's not here. I thought she was. I was gonna ask and see if she happened to know where our invites were. I think they're, I think they're close in the house somewhere in a box somewhere, but she'd know where they're at. Um, we did this like, I don't know. They were like this, like kind of, um, I don't know, probably like three and a half to four inches by like, how would I have done that? Probably like three and change by like 11. Cause I probably did them. I don't know. I don't know what I did, but it was a cool booklet. And then we punched a hole in the end and we tied them together with ribbon and did all kinds of fancy stuff. It was fun. All right. These colors are terrible. This needs fixed. I don't like this at all. So what we're going to do, because I don't know how to do it on an iPad, is we're going to just close this on the iPad for now. We'll come back to it later. Put it away. Step away from the iPad. All right, so now we're gonna get into the desktop app. See how these skis used to look? Oh, that was the first, shoot, I don't have the saved version. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Um, so what we're gonna use is the edit color. Oh, those just look gross. I was trying to be cool and hip and hope that it would turn out good, but it just is terrible. It would help if these bindings weren't red. That's what we need to do. We need to fix the binding color. All right, let's see how we can do that. I'm gonna unlock everything. Grab one of these guys. How did I even do this? Oh, that's right. These are like masked off from like a whole big ski thing. What's the best way to do this? Guys, my brain hurts. Um, excuse me. All right, so if, let's see, I'm trying to think of the best way to do this, you guys. Because um, all this is is a mask. The skis are still behind it. And if I just copy it, Command-C, jump into Photoshop, make a new document. It's going to be the exact same size as whatever I copied on my clipboard. So 168 by 620. Let's create it. Let's paste it in there. Try pasting it again. This time it's just pixels and see what it does. The exact same thing. All right. So that's my vector smart object. If I were to double click into here, what's it gonna do for me? Open it separately. All right. Color replace. Yeah, so what I'm what I'm fighting against, besides being brain dead, um, is the fastest. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm in Photoshop now. There's a lot of ways to do it now. There's a ton of ways. Uh, quick and easy is probably to do an adjustment layer and come down here to hue and saturation. And then you could colorize it or just change the hue and see how the colors change. Okay, it's one way to do it. That might be the best way to do it, honestly. Um, or I could just take the saturation all the way out, adjust the lightness. Um, I 
just to make it more neutral, depending on what design we use. That's one way to do it. If I turn that off, it's non-destructive. If I save it, what's going to be interesting, it should be a separate document. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, oh, fastest way to get this back. I group it. A command click. Is it the whole thing? No, it's just the ski. Okay. So command shift option E to make a new layer. Just the ski thing. I feel like I'm doing this the hardest way possible. Just blame it on being brain dead and having had COVID. No big deal. It's whatever. I'm definitely doing this the hardest way possible, you guys. I apologize in advance. It's all right. I don't mind looking like a fool on the lives because, like, here's the thing. Like, I want you guys to know that you don't have to have it all figured out to experiment and to try it and to try new things. So sometimes it takes a few tries. Um, sometimes I look like I'm really, really fast at stuff because that's 20 years of practice. Uh, and then sometimes I try to be cool <laughs> and it fails. Um, oh, best way to do this. This is not the best way to do this, I can tell you right now. What am I doing, Derek? Also, where'd the music go? Oh, there we go. <laughs> so bad. Okay, um, let's see. Let's rush. This is, I can guarantee, the worst way to do whatever I'm trying to do, but that's all right. We're committed to it now, so. That took way too much work. <laughs> it's all right, though. There we go. Some neutral colors that'll work with anything you do. All right. <clears throat> color replace um let's just move on i don't even like these skis let's just do something different fresh template
Davis new and open sands, Rob says. That's a great, great combo. It's clean. It's pretty modern. If you want to have some fun here, you want to learn something new, you probably already know this. But if you don't know this, maybe the rest of the stream doesn't know this. Let me show you something. Totally unrelated to designing skis. I don't know. Maybe we'll work it in somehow. Uh, I'm going to create a new document. This one's for you, Rob. Uh... So a lot of fonts, I don't think Babis or Open Sans has this. Um, check this out. Robert. Um, so if I go to Bickham Script, there's a lot of fonts that do this. I just happen to know that Bickham Script is one of them. So there's alternate glyphs. So what I can do, if I go to type down to glyphs and I open up the glyphs window, by default it shows the entire font up here in the top left, which I know is tough to see because I can't zoom in right now on a live stream. But on this little show entire font drop down, click on that and go to alternates for current selection. It's the very top option here, okay? So now, obviously, there's nothing here, nothing selected. But if I highlight the letter T in Robert, you can see there's actually four different glyph or the letter T. There are four different T's in this font. So I can just click on this one. I think I have to double click. Yep. And now, all of a sudden, if this is the end of it, you can see I've got this nice, beautiful little tail and the B on Robert. Let's see what else we've got here. Maybe we have a different stem. Stem? What's that called? I don't know. Right? We've got a few different options here. Maybe the R, it's really over the top. So this is a, Bickham script is a beautiful, I mean, I know it's, I don't think it's like Papyrus where it's overdone or Comic Sans, but it's, it's up there as far as like overused. But look at, we went from this default written out look to this one that's got all these beautiful little tails and stuff on it. Super cool. So that's under type glyphs and then you change show from being the entire font to show alternates for current selection but if we do show the entire font let me change the size of this to bigger <laughs> zoom in so you guys can see what's going on some fonts have all kinds of cool stuff built into them sometimes like uh, multiple letters like t and h might be built together as one character and it might be super decorative so you can scroll through like here, right here, F I together is one. I don't know. Um, yeah, knew about the glyphs, but didn't know about the alternates. Yeah, super cool little uh, tip, trick, hack, whatever. Like look at all these letter H's, lots of different cool stuff here. Uh, definitely worth checking out with the fonts you use. And then look at all these extras down here. So what you could do, hit the letter T, click once. Let's scale this up so we can actually see it. Okay. Highlight the whole thing, delete it. So now I've just got an open cursor over here blinking instead of lorem ipsum. And then I could click over here and add these characters and I could use them as a divider in the invitation. If you're doing like a wedding invite or a anniversary or whatever. So we got all these different shapes here, some cool stuff. And if you're not sure which one to use yet until you see it, that's all right. Just click in there and Start clicking away on different ones that maybe look cool to you. Some pretty cool options here. And this is just a font currently. Currently, it's just a font. So if I highlight this, you know, I can change the font size. I can even change the weight to semi bold or regular, although it doesn't look like that's changing these shapes at all. So what you could do, we'll take this. I'm just going to hold down the option key and drag a copy down. 
This time I'm going to type. Well, okay, a couple things. You could find just the one you want to work with and delete the rest. Let's say I just wanted this shape to work with. Or I could leave them all here. Uh, Robert says, uses the glyphs a fair bit for working in French type. Canadian alternate packaging. Oh, yeah. So I once did a project in, was it Korean? I was in... No, what was it? It was something I couldn't read at all. <laughs> so I just laid out the design. It was probably, you know, you guys open up like a, a new product and they've got the instructions written in English clearly by somebody who does not speak English and all the words are messed up. That's probably what the design was like that I was doing, but I didn't know. I was just laying it out like they told me. So I definitely made them sign off on the design before we shipped it out. Okay, so I've got this whole this whole thing highlighted. It's a font, it's text, whatever. Go to type, go down to create outlines or shift command O. And now these turn into shapes, not fonts. They're all grouped together. So command shift G or go to object ungroup. No. Yeah, right here. Object ungroup, shift command G. Click off and then come back. And now they're all separate shapes. So you could use this, you know, let's say you wanted to put this on the front of something. So now I can scale it up just like any other shape. Oop, there's a ski. What the heck? There's those skis again. All right. Um, you could, if you were trying to make this bolder, you could add a stroke to it. That's one way to do it. Close our glyphs window, go to our stroke. Scale it up. And now it's like making it bolder. So it's kind of a hack, maybe not the best way to work, but it's possible. One way to do it. Anyway, so now we got this beautiful shape. You could do something like, Robert, you don't have to tell me, but if you want to tell me what's your wife's name for this thing, I put her name in here. You don't have to tell me. But I also don't want to like design the wrong thing and then she walks in and she's like, who is that? So we're just going to do it like this. Linda. All right. So we need an ampersand. I'm just going to drag a copy over here so it's the same size. Shift 7 for that ampersand. Open up my glyphs window again. Type. Glyphs. Tire font, just the alternates. So we've got this ampersand and we've got this one that's got more stuff. So naturally we're gonna use the one with more stuff in it. I don't know if that makes sense. It might make sense. I don't know. We're gonna just leave it there for a second. What the A is kind of boring here. What the heck? No tail? Really? It's disappointing. All right, well, fine. The letter D has some interesting tails we could play with. <laughs> she left. That's funny. Well, I mean, that's out of context. If you can't read the chat. He says she was there, heard I was teaching, and then left. I see how it is. That's funny. Uh, okay, that's. I really want this A to have a long tail on it. So, so one thing I could do. I don't know. Now I'm just kind of screwing around, trying to see what happens. Um, that's kind of cool. That's too much. It's a lot going on but I'm just kind of playing and showing some ideas here. Um, but I could grab this shape, clone it, shift E to get my eraser tool. There's a lot of ways to erase this. This just is the first thing that came to mind. Um, erase all this, take this tail, bring it up here, zoom in nice and close, rotate it. I don't know, somewhere in there, shift E. Grab my anchor points and kind of bring them in. So it's not perfect, 
but you can see how quickly you can get some pretty creative stuff going on here. Let's connect this guy actually. Grab his letter A. The letter D. I don't know. Whatever. Um, you get the point. Cool, fun stuff. I don't even know how I got on this tangent. I'm going to group the whole thing together. Let's make it black. Shift click the background. Um, let's clone this over here in case I need to come back to any of that. Type. Create outlines. Now it's all a, now it's all a shape. So I could change the color of this to something else. Kind of classy looking. I don't know. There's one idea. We went from skis to anniversary invitations. <laughs> you totally derailed me. I don't care. It's good. You can apologize to everybody else who wanted to learn how to design skis instead. It's all good. I don't know. I love this kind of stuff. It's fun. You do like a tone on tone thing. That's not at all the colors you're going for. Let's keep going. Make a new artboard. Red, black, and white. Um, we can do this on red. Keep going. So I I don't spend too much time on one idea because I just have to get it out of my brain and I have to see if my brain and what actually is on the screen looks as good as I hope it will. Right, so I just kind of keep pushing things around. I don't know, whatever. Congratulations on 25 years, Robert and Linda. Thanks for joining the stream. <laughs> All right. Uh, Good stuff. I hope you learned something. I hope that was fun. I had fun. All right. I don't even know what we're doing now. Thanks for that, Rob. Totally derailed me. It's all good. Teasing. All right. So we got our skis. We got our iPad. We were going to draw on the iPad. Yeah. Let's do that. We are talking about fonts. We were talking about Bavis, New, and open sands and it made me think of glyphs for some reason so we went with it all right um i might have to end the stream just for robert's sake so he can so i don't derail him technically i'm derailing him from getting his work done that's how this is going all right um what i want to do to make this cool Trying to remember. Captain Bones, hello, what's going on over on YouTube? Thanks for jumping in and saying hi in the chat. So we're designing some skis. I had a different color scheme and I accidentally changed everything. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. I've been on the iPad for like 10 minutes now. Not really, it hasn't been that long. Um, anyway, I accidentally changed all the colors of these and they look totally not what I intended. So I just moved on, I just quit. All right, um, color.
So now what I really want to do is get into Fresco to get some of the effects that I want to do. How would I get that over to Fresco? I think Fresco needs a PSD file, I forget. So if I wanted to bring those in, what I could do So I'm going to attempt to grab this ski template. Helps if you unlock it. So now what I'm gonna do is come over here and cut it, copy it to the clipboard. I don't think that clipboard can paste into a fresco clipboard, but we're gonna try. I don't think it's possible. I'm going to have to load it as a separate image. I don't see anything there. Okay. So what we're going to do, I'm going to make a new document in Photoshop. I don't even know what screen size this iPad is. It doesn't matter. I just need the image out. So I'll create a file. I'm gonna go to the scissors, tap on that and hit the clipboard to paste it in there. Let's go ahead and just align this to the center for the sake of simplicity. Okay, so there's this file. So now I'm gonna, I think, can I, if I share this on the top right, hit the little share button. Quick export as PNG. Sure. I'm going to save this to uh, let's see. Save to files in the creative cloud. Let's give it a name that makes sense. All right, so I just saved it in my Creative Cloud. We'll swipe over to Fresco, and we're gonna go down here to the picture. Let's see what I'm doing, just a little bit. To the Creative Cloud. Bunch of random stuff. There's my ski template. No preview available. That's all right. Let's click open. Wow, that is tiny. There we go. Okay, so now in theory, I could start drawing on this with done Click on this empty layer now so fresco is amazing absolutely love fresco um let's grab a live watercolor brush we'll do a soft wash now we're just gonna grab some random colors because I don't have all those samples with me. But that's all right. And you can see the template is just a rectangle. You can see how the illusion breaks. A couple ways I could fix it. Click on this layer. Oh, this always melts my mind when I switch between. Oh, what the heck is that? That's cool. Where'd that even come from? 
Let's use it. Anyway, <laughs> to not only be live streaming, but then to like do it late at night after I've already worked a full day and then to be switching between multiple applications, uh, I, I can barely keep it together. That's kind of a cool effect. Um, I don't know how I got it. I don't know why it's on this layer or how to move it down below, but um, it's kind of cool. Let's see, can I cut this somehow? So what I was trying to do earlier, I'm just going to let it slide for now. I was trying to add like more white around it so you can't really see what's going on. We'll screw around with that later. All right. There we go. Learn to use shapes. So I pushed and held. Okay, that's the first one that came up. That's pretty cool though. We'll come back to that another time. Let's jump back over to our live brushes. Got a nice subtle effect in there. That's cool. Happy accident. I don't know how I got there. So you can see how cool these brushes blend together. I'll scribble out here so you can kind of see that better. So good. Then if you want to, you can hold down the little modifier button and just use water instead of actually ink. And it just kind of blends together. Super cool stuff. Unfortunately, I don't know how I got that um, stamp sticker thing or how to bring it back. So I'm gonna undo a couple steps because I don't want the tip of the skis to change. Cool, all right, now what I would do so much stuff we could do. Let's grab the vector brush. White. <laughs> yeah, it's it's so cool, and I'm absolutely not doing it justice. There's there's a lot that you can do with this. Um, I'm barely barely scratching the surface. Ha, literally, get it? Scratching. All right. These are the jokes, people. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. That's not, that's not the effect we're going for.
I don't know. This is not really at all what I expected to stream about tonight or how this would even go, but I, mean, I don't know. Uh, at this point, it's just more therapeutic for myself than anything. I haven't played on my iPad in days because I've had weeks, months. We'll say weeks. Um, I've just had a lot of important projects that required that they got finished fast. And so I, I didn't really give myself time on the day to, to use the iPad. I don't know. I'm just kind of playing around to see if I even like. The other thing, luckily, because I changed from a live brush to the vector brush, it automatically started a new layer for me. Um, so that means if I wanted to, I could dial down this effect or I could erase it completely. If I'm like, oh, I just don't like it. Just turn it off. Right. Or I could affect. Uh, I could modify the opacity and scrub it down so it's not so. Whatever. Right. All right. So. Robert, you've got your invites to finish up, ma'am. Don't let me distract you. I've enjoyed you hanging out in the chat, but now I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of screwing around. So make sure you get those invitations done. All right, now we need to, this way to clean it up. Maybe keep it simple and just erase. This isn't the best way to work, you guys. This is me just kind of having fun. Oh, no. Um, just trying new things, honestly. Just kind of seeing what I can do and enjoying the process. Mostly just enjoying the process, hanging out with you guys, answering questions. kind of cool I 
feel like it needs more to it. Um, add a new layer. Do like a torn effect or something. Let's see what we can find. Pencil. Play with the blend mode, see what we can find here. The opacity, just kind of scrub it down a little. I don't like what that's doing. So let's play the blend mode. Ooh, color burn, that could be cool. my mind I saw this going differently that's cool there we go uh oh I think my iPad froze there we go
All right, guys. It's about time to call the night. Kind of plan around. Um, I don't know. There's there's a lot more I probably could or should do to this. But honestly, now I'm just having fun mixing ink on the paper. Or on the iPad, rather. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Just kind of playing around with it. Just uh, very, very, very... <laughs> Jeez, almost time for a whiskey. Yeah, no joke. Um, very, very... Um, I don't know. I just kind of zoned out, muted the microphone, had some fun with it. Just kind of went for it. Um, I don't like how my template is this white box around it. I should have cut the skis out differently when I started, but um, I had my reasons when I did it. Um, man, I just love blending these inks, these paints, or this digital stuff, whatever. Um, here's an example. Rob, this one's kind of for you. Just some ideas of what you can do with this app. So this was something I did for a client a long time ago, just kind of screwing around with mixing colors and adding text and having fun with it. So brought in an image that I'd cut out in Photoshop and turned to black and white to a high contrast black and white and just kind of colored over the top. Something random, something fun, just mostly playing with it. Uh, for Inktober, so this octopus thing um, I think I can do the playback, maybe. Uh, it's been so long. I don't remember how to get there. Um, nope, I want to add persons. There's a way. There we go. So this, so basically you can see I took like a ghosted image in the back and then traced over the top of it. So I didn't draw this originally. This is somebody else's art, but I traced over the top of it and had fun coloring it in fresco. I actually have a tutorial about it on YouTube if you guys want to check it out. So um, this part that right now is playing through this is my favorite part, just the coloring of it and how you can subtly blend it and everything just blends so nicely. Had fun playing with different colors, different textures, some different techniques there. So that was a lot of fun. All this in fresco. It's getting late. Time for bed. Yeah, fresh cake is super cool on Behance. Yeah, he's got some really good work. So typically I focus on like graphic design stuff. Here is, here's me just doodling because it's fun. Cause why the heck not? Like it's, it's random. It's abstract. Um, I don't know, just drawing different shapes and having fun. Here's the time lapse of that one I did. So this is Fresco, super cool stuff. So just simple lines, but having fun with coloring, with shading and some different techniques. Um, this one is actually a, a design for a tattoo that my wife did. And uh, super, super basic coordinates for where. Looks like, yeah, sketchbook. Yep, all kinds of stuff. Um, this one was just me being a dork when I first got the app. <laughs> I don't know. It just, that's just what happened. I started doodling around with the brushes and that's what it turned into. Kind of fun. 
So this is with the oil brushes versus the watercolor brushes. You see the oil kind of mix mixes really, really nicely. So a lot of fun. Anyway, all right, guys. I'm fading. I'm rambling. We are all over the place, but it was a lot of fun. And at this point, I think we're just distracting each other from getting things done. <laughs> so good luck with those invitations. Are those invitations or are those like a program? Either way, super cool stuff, Robert. Rob. Um, everybody else, thanks for jumping in. Shay, Captain's Bones. Shy Bound. Marche. Everybody, thank you for tuning in. And uh, I hope you have a great night, great day, wherever you're watching from, whenever you're watching this. And to make sure you don't miss a minute, when you guys uh, get a minute, go ahead and follow me on Behance or subscribe and like on YouTube. Make sure you tap the bell for notifications so you know when I go live. Yeah, definitely hope I shake the COVID soon. Thanks, Rob. Uh, still on the <clears throat> on the very, very tail end of that. So uh, definitely a little bit of tired, a little bit of sore, a little bit of brain fog. Um, but we're doing good. So luckily everybody is, all things considered, almost back to normal. So on that note, I think I'm going to go to bed, get some rest, and then uh, we'll be streaming tomorrow. I don't know what time yet, but I will be around. So again, would love to have you follow me on, on the Behance, on the YouTubes, on Twitch, wherever you're watching this from. Make sure you like and subscribe. That helped me out. And then also, I want to make sure that you guys get the chance to jump in live and ask your questions when you have questions. So I love answering those, those questions when you guys want to uh, bounce ideas off of me or whatever you guys are working on like rob sharing what you're working on with your uh invitations and stuff that's awesome i keep calling them invitations and programs i don't know what to call these things anyway good luck with that sounds like you're almost done uh yeah that's pretty much it guys i will see you tomorrow All right, guys, thanks for watching today. I uh, hope you learned a lot of valuable information and I appreciate you sticking around to the very end. But before you go, just a couple things I want to remind you. The first is if you haven't already, feel free to like this video if you can, depending on where you're watching from, give it a thumbs up or subscribe or tap the bell or give it a follow if you can. And uh, also maybe even just copy the link up in the browser and share it with a friend or post it to your Facebook page. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, but again, just want to say thanks for uh, sticking around and I'd love to continue going live as much as possible and helping you guys out. So the best way that I can help you is by you commenting on the videos below. I read those comments. I engage with them as soon as I can, if I can, when I see them. So if it's live, I'll try and answer you right away. If this is a replay, you can still comment on the video and uh, I go back and I read those. So I just wanted to say, thanks again for watching and let me know what you're working on. I'd love to help you out and hopefully we will see you in the next live. And to be sure you don't miss it, like, like this video and subscribe and follow and do the things. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.